I am here with some real living legends. Apart from the sausages from McGettigan and Sons craft butchers here in Donegal Town, they have won numerous awards for their sausages and really really they are fantastic but we have Ernan McGettigan here of the famous family and we're delighted to welcome all the way from Padstow the wonderful Jack Stein you'll recognize the name and they have those fabulous restaurants and fish shop and fish and chips place down in Padstow and of course as I say well known to TV viewers all over the world and of course not to be outdone the wonderful Carl is also visiting our shores the Donegal for this fantastic food festival now Ernan a little sort of overview how's it all going it's beyond comprehension Noel it's, it's been phenomenal our opening night was the best yet I think we doubled our numbers last night it started out as a community event on the Friday night. Now our community has expanded dramatically because we have visitors coming to stay over the weekend. And you can see today, Saturday, it's early and we are packed, jammed to the rafters, thank God. And people are really enjoying it and the feedback is phenomenal. And Jack, you're making your first visit to Donegal. You've been to Ireland before you told me you were down in West Cork and places like that, but and you were in Galway. So you've moved a little bit further north to us. Give us an overview of your impressions of Donegal and the Northwest. Well, it's, obviously, it's a fantastic part of the world, the west coast of Ireland. I mean, I've been to Bandora and surfing a, a few times before, but um, to be honest, I'm blown away by the scale of it. I mean, we have a food festival in, in Cornwall in Padso at Christmas, and I thought that was big. The producers' market is about a quarter of the size of this one, I and mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, I've, I've literally had to pull myself away from every single stand as we walk down to taste these fantastic sausages. Uh, we're sampling. There we go, a little bit of a plug. But it's amazing, like I say, and some of the chefs have been great. Obviously, Gary, Hannah, Hannah, a very good friend of mine, and Carl's here, and, uh, and the produce, uh, the West Coast is great. Cork, I've been to before, and I um, have, uh, really enjoyed the, some of the seaweeds as well. Seaweeds are a big thing for Ireland. I mean, some of the Irish seaweeds, I learned so much from a, from a producer in Cork about the different types of seaweeds that they grow and not they grow, that they forage. Um, and there's, like I say, it's constant learning. I'm constantly learning and uh, it's great to be here. And obviously I have a, a family connection to the island on my mother's side. So as you can probably tell by my coloration, there's a bit of a, the, the, bit of the Celt in me. Well, we're very, very happy to welcome a fellow Celt. Uh, tell me, uh, without giving too much away, have you discovered any humdinger uh, fish and chips restaurants here in Donegal yet? <laughs> We've been told about one, and we, we were yet to sample it. Uh, they, a chipper? They call it a chipper? Chip, yeah, Jerry, Jerry said Jer Yeah, Jerry. Jerry a few yeah. good ones. Yeah. Good ones. So we're looking forward to sampling it a bit later on today. At the moment, I'm still getting stuck into my uh, hot dog, so uh, maybe a bit later. It's beautiful. And Carl, um, I'm interrupting <laughs> you as you absolutely demolish one of, of Ernan's fantastic sausages. Tell us a little bit about your background. Um, mm. Dublin, huh? Born in Dublin, raised in Birmingham, grew up in London. So a bit mixed up, really. Um, we cook in precarious places in London. Uh, you know, we kind of have the, the vision that food is for everybody and we'll go into any disused building or anything and set up a restaurant for a limited period of time. It's probably quite hard for people to understand that. Um, but yeah. That's well that's basically a very good philosophy, food for all, access to the best. I think one of the things that both me and Carl really believe in is is food like natural food, like as in not like taken out of you know, if you live in a place like the West Coast or in Cornwall and you take a lobster, don't turn that into something that it's not. Just leave it. Watching people eat whole food, like you know, kids getting stuck in, is is a is a great sort of and uh, a great experience because it's you know it's not taken out of context. I love I love shellfish and fish when it's just eaten just whole. You know, and you're you're the same, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's such an amazing place. Um, one thing I worked in Ireland for a little while throughout my career in various places and one thing I found is that we you produce or we produce the best shellfish and stuff in the world but people are guilty of not 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 eating it and I just tried to tell people last night before you go into Lidl 
or Aldi or wherever, just don't walk past your local butcher or your your you know your your local vegetable shop or fishmonger. You know, just try and get what you can out of there before you go to look at, at other things. Um, it goes to the continent otherwise, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, a lot of our shellfish is still in Cornwall, even no, with Spain, yeah, it goes to Spain. Now China, I mean, we're se- uh, we're mm. selling. I mean, the the Chinese will buy our shellfish. You know, as long as you ship it for them, you know, and we're trying to say to people, I mean, in, in Cornwall, we're very lucky, we've got a lot of high profile chefs. And I think the food, this food market shows that there's some great producers here. Obviously, what you, the the big draw for people is chefs because that it's, you know, chefs have a sort of almost a social responsibility in some ways because they're the kind of spokespeople, because they're quite the, the, the profile that they have. Um, chefs have a responsibility in Cornwall, we have a responsibility to maintain a local sort of uh, ethos about where we get our stuff from but also to say no, don't sell sell your shellfish to the continent just eat it we should eat we should be eating everything that we produce because you know it's it makes sense it makes sense for everybody Ernan the final word to you you are the chairperson of the organizing committee a very hard-working committee um, tell us how much involvement there is in getting something like this up and running you have people exhibiting from all over the country we have over 107 exhibitor stands, uh, probably taking in around 100 companies from all over the island of Ireland. And I suppose, no, the, the, the main ethos, as, as Karen, uh, Jack has already said, what we try to do here is we try to start, start up artisan food production in this area. And I think if, if, that, if that is a success, it's coming from this event, it's given them a neutral venue, it's given them ideas from other entrepreneurs, other artisan food producers who are trying it in other parts of Ireland and to say that we can do it in Donegal and we can do it better. And I, I, I firmly believe that we can do it better. I think uh, as far as seafood is concerned, we have the best in the world. And I'm not exaggerating, no, no, you know, without a doubt, in the world, without a, Paul, without, without a doubt. Paul's number one, you're number two. <laughs> thank, thank you, that. thank you. That. We're, we're in special company, so we'll, we'll, we'll give them leeway on that. And this food festival, no, as, as we've had conversations before about it, it's grown to this in five years. God knows where we'll be in another five years, but I think we nurture it, we keep the quality there, we keep the artisan food there, we keep the top restaurants there, and I mean, you have everything in Donegal, you have the best restaurants in Ireland and Donegal, and it's just about getting it out there. Well, the nice thing about it is, Carl made a reference to the smaller suppliers, that you don't bypass them on the way to the big supermarkets. Here, we have a nice combination of both, because some of the big supermarkets are also represented. So it gives a very good slice of life for both the large and the smaller sort of suppliers. So gentlemen, welcome back to Donegal, coming back again soon, and continued success, and well done. Magnificent, wonderful show. Thank you.